Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Music of the Fox. This is probably one of the most stripped down videos I've ever done. Not a stitch of makeup on. My hair has just been freshly blow dried with the Hot Tools Pro One Step Blowout. It comes in this gold version. It also comes in a black version. The gold supposedly is just better at frizz control and gold is a really good um, heat disbursement. Um, metal so that way it stays evenly heated throughout the whole thing rather than having hot spots. I'm obsessed giving away the plot. <laughs> I am in love with this thing. I was gushing about this on my Instagram stories and a bunch of you asked me to do a demo and review so here is that video. Um, I'm gonna be doing this like an actual live showing you guys how I actually blow dry my hair. It'll be a mix of like real-time footage and a bit sped up because my hair takes about 25 minutes to blow dry and no one wants to sit here for 25 minutes while I blow dry my hair. So here is my demo and review. Enjoy! So here I am, fresh out of the shower. Um, I have a fan going because it's 80 degrees outside. I'm in my office in my filming light, so this is just gonna be the noisiest section of the video. Um, I will be muting down the hair dryer though because no one needs to hear all of that noise. That's not the kind of ASMR I think anyone ever wants to watch. All right, so the way I dry my hair, because it is so thick, is in sections. So the first thing I do is divide my hair in at least Two. So kind of the way if you were going to do like a half up, half down kind of a thing. Pro tip for those of you who have a lot of ear piercings. You want to make sure that the top section you're drying is well above your piercings and the bottom section is below your piercings. Because I have found the first few times I used this when doing the hair around my ears that the hair dryer actually heated up my industrial piercing and that is not a sensation that anyone should ever experience. I do like to give my hair a bit of a pre-brushing before blow drying just to get any possible tangles out. It's slightly nerve wracking to dry your hair in front of people. I don't know why because I don't think any of us really dry our hair in like a beautiful fashion. So trying to do this at all um, in a way that's interesting to watch is a little nerve wracking. I take a piece of hair about as big as I would use on a curling iron um, just to make sure that it really gets like all the attention of the dryer. Can I burn my pink? So like I do have to say, this because of the gold plating gets very, very hot. So please do be careful. The the perk of a more traditional blow dryer is that there's a lot more plastic around it, but the places that get hot is a lot more surface area. It is really quite easy to touch the plate. This is plastic, so this is not super hot, but this is actual gold and it is extremely hot. So do not touch it. It hurts so bad. To get a lot more volume, you want to put the blow dryer under your hair to get lift at the roots, and you want to hold it a few seconds at the root. And so then we slide down, and then about halfway through, we turn, and then we slowly move through here. Then you do that two or three times total, and then you slide through. Now let's do it with some actual heat. <laughs>
For the top layer, I'm going to move from back to front, and we're definitely going to make sure to get some of that volume in the roots. So I do the section closest to my face in a much bigger chunk. The bigger chunk you use, the less heat is directly on each individual hair. So it's just a little bit safer um, for my tiny little baby hairs to have um, a lot more other hairs with it to disperse the heat. Once it's all together, I do like to go through on one more pass underneath on low of it all together and then I put it on cool to um, cool it all down and keep it set. Alrighty, so that is my hair fully done with the Hot Tools Pro um, one step blowout and I am always, always thrilled with the results every time. I really was struggling for a bit um, with my natural hair texture this summer because um, my natural hair texture is kind of wavy and super poofy. <laughs> and so when you throw in the summer heat and the summer humidity, my hair just gets a little wild and you don't always want a wild aesthetic for every look. Sometimes you really just want it a little bit sleeker, a little bit fresh from the salon, especially if it's been a few months since you've been to the salon. Um, you just want like a fresh, clean look, you know, to be able to change it up. This has really changed my relationship with my hair. Um, when my hair was really, really long, I dreaded washing it because I either meant my hair was going to be wet for four to six hours or I was going to have to break out the blow dryer and the round brush. And I always felt like the when I wanted to get the volume under here, the blow dryer just blew all the hair off the round brush. And then I was struggling and making tangles and I could never really get my ends that dry and it just never felt like it was working, it was worth it, you know, hair dryers are really heavy and then you have to hold everything like so far from your head, your arms get really tired and it just felt like a lot of work and that just led me to air dry my hair a lot or just have wet hair and with my hair, the longer it's wet, um, the more my oil will build up in the back and underneath and I always hate the air dry results in terms of the longevity of my style. Air drying my hair, I only get about one or two days um, of that style before I have to wash my hair again because my hair gets so oily. But when I blow dry it, there's some magical balance at my scalp that happens where my hair stays less oily for longer. I can get three to four days of nice um, sleek hair but with the blow dryer and the brown brush it was just it was such an ordeal it was just always something I dreaded because it also would take me 30 to 40 minutes to do and that was just a lot of time especially because I like to shower early at night no one wants to break out the blow dryer at 10 30 at night and just have to do all kinds of nonsense for another 30 to 40 minutes so with this my drying time can be as simple as 20 minutes and I actually just really enjoy the process honestly I think because it is a brush style especially that bore bristle style on the edges. It just feels really fun even when it's not on. I still kind of just brush my hair with it because it just feels really good. These are really nice and massagey on your head and it just feels really good. <laughs> And so I just have a lot of fun just doing my hair. It honestly feels like I'm brushing my hair and drying it at the same time and it's just 
like a mirable of an instrument. Um, there is another YouTuber who honestly her review of this one is what sold me on it. She compares this with the two less expensive, uh, the two slightly less expensive, I mean they're all over $50 so none of them are like cheap cheap. Um, but the, she compares the three most trending versions of this including this one and her review really sold me on it and I'm super ecstatic that I got this one. I don't think she has the gold one. I think she may have the black one. Um, I went ahead for the gold one because there's no price difference and this one has a lot of positive reviews on taming down the frizz and the flyaways and so far I have definitely experienced a dramatic decrease in those. And this is my hair blow dried without any um, anti-frizz options, any treatments like that. So it might even be better um, if I use those but even still for anyone who's watched my channel for a while knows I get um, pretty frizzy hair especially after I curl it um, and this really has helped probably reduce it by I'd say 70%. So if you can get your hands on the gold one, if you're going to go for one of these anyway, I highly recommend it. Um, the gold really helps make sure that the heat is evenly dispersed. But yeah, I'm truly obsessed with this thing. It has just changed my relationship with my hair, with my hair routine, and I highly, highly recommend this one. If you have any hair related videos, suggestions, leave them down below. I would love to hear what you guys would like to see next. Welcome to the raspberry age. We'll see how long this lasts. <laughs> Alright guys, as always, I will see you next time. Bye!